let that uh, registry get started in the first place. But joining us on the program right now, David Adams, the uh, legislative chairman for the Virginia Shooting Sports Association, is with us. David, good evening, sir. Hey, Cam, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. No problem. You know, I, 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 I teased your appearance just a minute ago. I said the uh, same week that uh, Gallup comes out with a poll showing support for uh, new gun control laws is cratering uh, in this country. You've got some Democrats in Virginia who are running for uh, state office, state Senate, uh, on a pro-gun control platform. I mean, this is, I, I don't know if this is bad timing, Dave, but, uh, you know, I moved to Virginia in 2004, uh, and you could find Second Amendment supporters in, 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 in both parties. Uh, I still think that's the case, but I'm, I'm curious, I mean, what's going on here? It's been a while since I have seen, um, you know, a, a, a number of candidates decide, well, let's go, Let's go target the uh, the anti-gun vote, and that's how we're going to win election in Virginia. I, I think it's the case of them not being able to get away from old talking points they've been using for years. I mean, they they tried the same thing against Bob McDonald in 2009 as the campaign was winding down. They they trot out several you know social issues and gun control being one of them, and we're seeing them doing the same thing now. Yeah, uh, is this becoming a, a big issue? I, I, you know, I, I've seen a couple of stories uh, from a couple of different uh, 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 districts, both in Northern Virginia, which is where I kind of expect to see this sort of stuff, uh, but down in the uh, Hampton Roads area, I guess, or the uh, the Norfolk area, uh, looks like we're also seeing some some uh, candidates run on a uh, anti-gun platform. Well, of course, you know, Norfolk is in that district uh, that uh, you've got a, a contested state senate race in the sixth district which stretches from part of the eastern shore into uh, some of the precincts in the city of norfolk norfolk being an urban area is run by some anti-gun politicians on the city council down there so that's that's where they tend to, to pull that message out is where they think it'll sell the best and i, I really don't think that's going to be what this election turns on it here as most everywhere else in the country right now jobs and the economy is the big issue mm -hmm. and apparently there's some of the anti-gun democrats that haven't gotten that message yet or they're being they're worried about being tied to the guy up at in dc that's at pennsylvania avenue and they're trying to change the subject you know, I yeah, and I also wonder too. I mean, I, I know that Bob McDonnell, the uh, governor of Virginia, uh, a guy who doesn't get a lot of press nationally, um, doesn't even really get a lot of press, or, uh, you know, around the state. But he's his approval rating is something at like sixty seven percent right now. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just you know quietly going about his job, and it seems like the state really likes that. So, do you if if you're trying to run, uh, you know, uh, uh, against the O'Donnell agenda? Uh, does that mean then that you have to start taking all of these issues and taking sides on these issues that, uh, quite frankly, are, are going to be pretty unpopular in most uh, of the I, state? I just don't. I, I think that they're, you know, they, it's hard to run against the governor when he's at 65%. Um, and so they, they just trot out the same old uh, tired uh, talking points, same old tired uh, issues at the end that they think that will gin up their base because. That you know, while the average voter out there, uh, I don't think that gun control is something that motivates them. Not they're a gun owner, they'll go out there and they'll vote for the candidate that's going to vote for their rights. Mm -hmm. But the the person who's not tuned in to the the you know Second Amendment issues, gun control doesn't tend to be something that spurs them to go out and vote. I mean, I think there's been several uh, you know studies or or you know some checking into you know what motivates folks to vote and gun control you know if you're if you're not a pro-gun person gun control doesn't tend to be something that's going to get you to the polls well no i mean you know the the nra's uh, famous uh, motto vote freedom first does not really have a counterpart uh, in the anti-gun movement of you know vote your freedom away that doesn't you that doesn't really motivate people to, to get out there and vote yeah, and apparently uh, with that Gallup poll uh, showing that, you know, the, the support for gun control is at the lowest since they've been taking, uh, you know, the pulse on that, I don't think it really has a constituency anymore either. I think you are. Uh, I think you're correct. Well, listen, uh, for, for those who need a reminder, Dave, when is Election Day in the state of Virginia? Election Day is on uh, November the 8th, and so everybody needs to get out. You still have two weeks. Go out there, your candidates, uh, the NRA, PVF has the endorsed candidates out there. Uh, there are some good ones. We need to make sure we go out there and support those folks. They've got two weeks left. 
Go out and do a, a lit drop. Make phone calls to your friends and neighbors. Tell them to go out and vote. And you know, we can turn this thing around. We can turn that state senate around and maybe get us a pro-gun leadership in that state senate and do some good things next year. Boy, wouldn't that be something to see. All right, Dave, thank you again, sir, for joining us on the program. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Thanks, Cam. You too. All right, David Adams, the uh, legislative chair for the Virginia Shooting Sports Association, and join us here tonight on uh, Cam. And-